Bard. The only physical range you can start as from level 1. My first class and the class that made me fall in love with the game. And the class that everyone uses to play music. So why did I start playing Bard? Well, simply because I've always loved the aesthetic of Bards in the fantasy setting, and I loved the role of being a somewhat support DPS kind of character. But I had no clue how Final Fantasy XIV's Archer and Bard was like. So let me tell you about my experience as an Archer, who eventually became the strongest Bard around town. So, to begin with, you only start with one ability, Heavy Shot. It's as simple as it can get. Deal damage to an enemy instantly. But wait, never mind, I forgot. You don't even have to use this ability before you get to level 2, and then you go outside and kill mobs. With your new level 2 ability, Straight Shot, you deal even more damage than the level 1 ability. But uh oh, little baby poo poo moment, you can't use it! Well, that's because your first ability needs to give you a buff called Straight Shot Ready. And there's a 20% chance of that happening. That's okay, cause it's a true progress moment when you actually get the buff, right? Uh, at least it's something. Let's just do a quick roundup of the abilities Archer gets throughout the leveling. At level 4 you get a damage increase ability. Level 6 you get your first damage over time, also referred to as Dots, which will become your core ability later on. At level 12, a third attack ability, level 15, you get a jump back ability. It's actually one of my favorite abilities, believe it or not. Level 18, your first AoE ability. Level 30, your second Dot ability. And at last, level 38. True Barrage, an ability that triples the amount of your attacks in a single target ability, but basically you use your ability three times. And you mostly use it for the three of these abilities. And actually, by this point, you have this, your bard. So what differs an archer from a bard? Let me tell what it is. Songs. I'm not joking, songs. As soon as you get your bard stone, you instantly unlock your first song and the song guards. Gage? How the hell do you see this? Hello? Hello. How do you say this word? Dodge. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the first thing you get a spot is called Major's Ballot, and it is quite simple. First you deal damage, then you get the Major's Ballot buff to you and your party, increasing your damage by 1% for 30 seconds. But here comes the special part about it that only implies for you. There's an 80% chance that the buff will grant your repertoire, which reduces the cast time slash cooldown of two abilities by 7.5 seconds. The second song, Amish Peon, is a level 40 song that increases your party's direct crit rate by 3% for 45 seconds. Oh, and Amish Peon also have repertoire, but it's different than the major ballad one. This one also has an 80% chance of activating, but it reduces all your casting by 4%. But this 4% can also stack up to 4 times, so it can be 4%, 8%, 12%, and 16%. This is actually my least favorite song to use, but it actually sounds really good. It's just, the impact is barely noticeable in my opinion. And the last song you get at level 52 is the Wanderers Minuet. This song is my favorite song to use. After using the song, the song turns into Pitch Perfect. Your song guard gets 3 additional notes added to it. You can only use Pitch Perfect when there's a note lighted up. For each note your Pitch Perfect will do more damage. And with just like any other song, there's an 80% chance of granting repertoire, which in this song is just a stack of pitch perfect. The Wanderers Middle was the song that made me really fall in love with the bard by just how cool the attack looks and the satisfying sound that plays when you get 3 stacks. But what about the dots? Why their core ability of bard? Well, it is all because of the upgraded versions of your dots at level 64, where they have a 35% chance of granting your straight shot ready. And you also have this new ability from level 56, and it reapplies both of them at the same time, it's kinda crazy. So as you might have noticed, there's a lot of RNG built into Bard's abilities. It's practically its entire playstyle. And I used to love that so much about Bard. Use 2. When I reached max level on Bard and Shadowbringers, I decided to try out other classes. The first one I decided to try was Samurai, and I found it way more funnier to play that than Bard. And way more satisfying too. And after leaving Bard back then, I've been wondering as to why I feel this way now. And it's clear as day, the cracks for the love I had for Bard are finally showing. Samurai's gameplay was more into using combos to unleash a strong attack at the end, and then repeat. Meanwhile, Bard's gameplay was to apply your dots, use a song, and wait for the RNG to pop. And the worst part is, the reward for Bard's RNG are honestly not that rewarding at all. Most of it is increased damage to abilities or reusing an ability, with the potencies being around 110 to 360. 
Meanwhile, other classes has potency around 300 to 600, and these numbers were taken from Paladin. But if we don't talk about damage, then again, getting to Rios and ability is not that satisfying in my opinion, especially for something that's RNG, I would love if it would could be something else, than just there's a chance of you getting to your ability again, a chance for you to have fast recast time, or a chance of you to deal more damage. Or maybe it's not the problem that they have this, it's more the execution of it. I've been loving Bart's PvP version way more because of the ability Powerful Shot. It is a charged attack and you get rewarded for staying further back, meanwhile having the risk of your target getting out of range, since your movement is way slower meanwhile charging the shot. But of course, this would be somewhat ridiculous to put in a PvE scenario. Or would it? What if you could cancel the charge, or decide how much you charge the shot and then let the amount of charge scale the damage for you? I don't know. There's just something about the PvP action feeling way more satisfying with the building up and the risk than the PvE instant shot with almost no satisfaction to the attack itself. And remember how I said I didn't like using the song Army's Peon at all? Oh, it wasn't my favorite. Well, with the new action from Inwalker, Radiant Final, I am a bit forced to actually using Army's Peon, but the buff that Radiant Final grants will become stronger if I use each song. I'd wish they just made it into using any song three times, cause then it wouldn't force me to actually using Armist Peon. And let me somewhat decide what I want to do myself. Not saying that there's a problem with either skills, it's just I wish I was not in a situation where I felt forced to use an ability that I don't really like, especially when I feel like Sage skill has no little to impact. Especially Radiant Finale's buffs. It's a good buff, but damn I wish it would last a tiny bit longer and maybe up the numbers by 1 or 2%. And I don't know what some of you might be thinking. If you dislike Bard that much, then just stop playing it. Well yeah, that's what I did. But I still wish that a class I love aesthetically and in concept was still something that I could enjoy. Because remember before Inwalker came out, I would genuinely fall asleep while playing Bard because of how boring I found it to be. So what good is left to this class and job? Well honestly, I would really say that Archer might be a really good starting class if you are new to MMO combat. You literally do damage with almost no risk. Since 1, you don't need to be in your target's range of hitting in order to do damage to it. 2. You can literally move while doing damage as well. And 3. Its core gameplay is quite simple and I feel like if you pick this from the start, everything else that gets added to it will somewhat be second nature to you. Most of Bard's new endgame abilities are just upgrades or new OGCD. And that is why I fell in love with Bard to begin with. It was a really great class to help me get into the game, but it just kind of falls off late game with how fun and expressive it gets. And I wish it wouldn't be like that. So for now, I'll just do what Eddie Bard is doing. Perform. And my next performance is going on the ultimate hunt. And while I'm gone, the whole ultimate manager will take over the channel. Speaking of which, let's end this video with a commercial. Have you ever wanted to just sit back and relax? To look no more further, because the hotel, motel, holiday inn got everything you need. We have bars, scenery, and probably the lazy fusion place to navigate for sprouts. We have the coolest spots for you to hang out with your friends. So what are you waiting on? Come and arrive at Hotel Motel Holiday, where we'll always greet you with a smile or two. Ciao!